Welcome to Scenes from a Hat, Minnesota's improv comedy show. How are you doing today, everybody? Are you ready for laughs? Are you ready for comic bliss? Are you ready for me to shut up and start this show? That's what I thought, you heartless bastards. <laughs> All right, let's welcome today's talent in chair number one, Lauren Kincaid. <laughs> in chair number two, Mr. John Bickford. <laughs> in chair number three, Mr. Merritt West. <laughs> And in chair number four, Jordan Rulo, everybody. We don't know, we just let him on stage. Cause yeah, he just kind of wandered in off the street. We fed him and now he won't leave. Okay, welcome to Scenes from a Hat. We're very glad that you've tuned in. This beautiful orange hat is full of comic goodness that will be enacted to you by these amazing players that I have just introduced. But before we get to this, we gotta warm everybody up with a special game of World's Worst, everybody! <laughs> so, World's Worst, the way that we play this is we are going to see some examples of the worst holders of various occupations, which I will now get from the studio audience at this time. Zookeeper. Zookeeper. Undertaker. Undertaker. <laughs> Dungeon master. Dungeon Santa person. We've never had that before. That is fantastic. All right, this is a good enough list. We're gonna, we're gonna carry on here. Here we go, we are going to start out with world's worst zookeeper. Take it away. Here kitty, kitty. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shut up in there, Charlton Heston. <laughs> it puts the lotion on the skin, or it gets the hose again. <laughs> World's worst Olympic athlete. Really small hurdles. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm here for the improv Olympic auditions. <laughs> what? I'm the janitor, what's curling? <laughs> <laughs> World's worst dungeon master. <laughs> Player rolls a uh, six and uh, do not pass go. <laughs> Nobody brought the one sided dice? Oh! <laughs> World's worst tomato. <laughs> Is that red enough? <laughs> Ooh, a balsamic vinegar? Mm, basil? What? No! No! And <laughs> see <laughs> All right, let's go to the hat for our very first game. It is Party Quirks, everybody! Let's get set up for a nice rousing game of Party Quirks. And who wants to host the party? Thank you, Merritt. Merritt's gonna host the party, and that means that he's going to have to guess who all these outlandish characters are. So, let us see here. All right, so, let's get set up here. All right, Merritt, you got everything ready to go? You got your mixer and your chips and dip and party music and all that stuff? Oh, okay. Hello, welcome to the party. Hello, there, young one. Yeah, that's 
me, the young one. Uh, I was known as the young I'm one. I'm talking to this girl during this game. I'm just talking. Never mind. Oh, I'm, hey. I'm, uh, yeah, yeah, you have a phone, I see. Huh? Is that one of those old-fashioned flip phones? Oh, well, yeah, it's written in... Wow, that's an ancient language. I didn't recognize it. Go well, grab a drink, all right? <laughs> Hello? Hey, come on. No more wire hangers! <laughs> Mr. DeMille, I'm ready for my close-up. I think you are, <gasps> definitely. Toto, Toto, where's my Toto? Oh, Andy M, Andy M. Have you, have you met my friend here? Maybe you've seen him before. He's uh, some kind of ancient keeper of the crypt. <laughs> uh, you know? Oh, hello. Oh, so glad you made it. Don't, don't touch me. I just got off of a really long trip. You oh, smell awful. I need a wash. <laughs> yeah, well, there's... My feathers are coming. <laughs> okay. Um, I can't do this. I'll think about it tomorrow. All right, well, um, you know, th did you bring your ruby slippers with you, Dorothy? <laughs> oh, I, uh, hi, hi, sir. I can't hear it. You're not getting any good service there? The back looks bad. That's why we text, so you don't have to listen. Oh, yeah. oh nice. Uh, you want to go to Spain? Spain? You want to go to Spain? Yeah, are you going to fly us there? I'm are up you, for the travel. Are you the stork? I'm Spaniards. <laughs> Spaniards? You know some Spaniards? Like Inigo Montoya? You had me at hello. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay now. You guys need to all have some drinks, all right? Because I mean, you like, see these yellow <laughs> stains. Uh, yeah. Last ooh. trip I was on, the girl she had a daughter, only like two years old, pissed all over me. Oh man! Oh, oh, that's, that's, can't get them out. Is that part of the smell? Tried bleach. <laughs> I, I peed myself several times just standing here. <laughs> <laughs> run, uh, Forrest, run! I'm like, give me your phone. I gotta call Zero Res. Oh no! Oh, uh, okay, I mean, did you meet my friend Tom Hanks here? <laughs> no? <laughs> you haven't met... <laughs> hey, Tom, have you met my friend, uh... I think I've seen you in the pictures. I... I've seen you in the old picture show. All of them. Yes. I can't forget my lines. I'm a movie star. It, but not Judy Garland. All of them. All of them. Black and white film star. Okay, what is Lauren? Movie star? Yeah, very good. She's an actress who never breaks character. Very good. Give him a hand, everybody. <laughs> and what is John? Oh, my gosh. He's a guy with a phone, but it, he's old. And he's <laughs> yes, he's an old guy on a cell phone. Very good. <laughs> now, here's the tough one. I mean, I wanted to say Big Bird, but I'm um, like... Uh, he's got feathers, uh, a tarot, no, he's uh, a, a parakeet. I was behind him, he was resting on me, talking about going to Spain. Oh. I'm, a, I'm a travel pillow. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, you got them all, nice job. <laughs> okay, let's go to the hat for a new game. It is the director. Let's play a nice rousing game of the director. How about we have John and Jordan come on down. You're gonna act out the first movie. And uh, Merritt, let's have you as the director that's gonna come in and just completely botch this whole thing. So we need a popular movie that they can reenact. The Wizard of Oz. The Wizard of Oz, very good. The Wizard of Oz, the director, take it away. We represent the lollipop guild. The I don't lollipop. have a brain. I don't know what, what a guild is. Uh -oh. It's the lollipop guild. Cut. Uh, what, what is the lollipop guild? Is that, is that a munchkin thing? I think it's, they're going it's a, a little un, off It's a strip. union thing. Okay, look. I know that uh, when it, we commissioned um, Steven Spielberg to do The Wizard of Oz and he changed it up a little bit, he may have gone a little off the rails. So what I want to do is I want to start with the witch is dead. Okay, witch is dead. I need more energy and I need less energy. Ready? Less energy. Action. The house just landed on her. I mean, look at the feet. They just curled up and they went on into that window. 
Well, I'm so sad for her now. I'm so sad for her now. That's awful. What did you do? What did you do? I just oh touched the toilet, man, and all of a sudden... Just keep going, keep going. Okay, and now the song. The song. The witch is dead. The witch is dead. Ding dong. The witch is dead. Sorry, I skipped the head again. Less, less. Ding dong. Okay, cut, cut, cut. Okay, now we're getting there. We're getting there. You guys are doing great. All right, look. I want to switch this up a little bit. Okay. You're the mayor. You're about to do this death certificate thing. Ah, uh, yes. And give her the ruby slippers, okay? You, you got it? And when you do it, I want you to act super, oh. super surprised. So now I'm giving her the ruby slippers. You okay, got it. All okay, right. ready? Action. I am the mayor of Munchkin Land, and you have killed the witch, and now here's the death certificate. And ding! Ruby slippers are yours now. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Okay, <laughs> okay you guys, this has got to sync up with Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon, so remember that, okay? This is where Breathe comes in. Ready? Action. Breathe. Breathe, Breathe in the air. You know, I'm here. just going to feel here the here is okay. the cut, 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 cut. Come on. All right. Come on. All right. Look, What's my character's no, drive here? I mean, we're gonna we're gonna get this. I don't care. But we need to hash it out a little bit, okay? So where's Steven? Okay, good witch is about to come in. Okay, and now what I want you to do is when you see the good witch, I want you to be like really upset because she owes you a lot of money. You realize Ready? that's an oxymoron what you just said. The good witch is about to come in. She's a witch. The, well, you're not a good witch. You're a witch. All right, all right. You're fired. Mm. Okay, let's get another. Right. MC, thank you very much. Okay, let's have Lauren and Merritt act out this next game, and Jordan, you will be the director. Oh, Jordan. All right, what's the name of another popular film we can destroy? Toy Story. Toy Story, very good. Toy Story. You ready there, Jordan? Oh, Why don't absolutely. Enter from the other side there, a little more camera friendly than my messy desk. All right, here we go. You don't have to actually do the real film. You, you realize that, right? I you, feel like punching this, you right this now. This is improv. You can sort of just make crap up. All right, here we go. Toy Story, take it away. <laughs> hey, hey, Marsha, my toy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now you're going to ride the little horse. Yeah, oh, horse. What's that, Marsha? I love ready? My horse. Okay, I'll be right back. back. All right, where'd he go? Where'd he go? All right, cut, cut, cut. Come back in here. Now, I, I'm going to fast forward on the scene. You're going to be Woody, and yep. you're going to be Buzz. Buzz. No, no, Buzz. Buzz. Buzz, the dark year. No, light, Buzz, light year. Did you read the script? Mm, yeah. You're right, going to be take buzzed. Take it again from the top. I want to be Buzz. Yeah. I can do that. Okay, ready? I can do Buzz. And action. Whoa, we're, yeah. We're toys, got it? We, I know. <laughs> Hey, whoa, what, you got flashy whoa. lights and stuff? All I got is like this hat and this lasso. Dude, Amy. I mean, he's going to play with you. Ew, and he's hot. not going to play with me. I'll play with you. Um, cut, I'm cut, buzzed. Cut, cut. This is not a romantic comedy. We are going for a dark comedy. Right. You know, we're completely flipping the script. This is Toy Story 3. You know, we're right. gonna oh. break some hearts well, we don't out know there, what the people. Hell we're doing. I need passion. Okay. I need drama. I need passion. action. Drama. We're going to the dump. It's gonna crush us. Oh no! I'm oh, no. oh, Buzz Lightyear. You first. I know. Yeah, what kind on, of gentleman are you, you little oh, lofty person? Hey, no, I can't go in the dump. Go! Oh, come on. Come on, oh, be a man. My legs. Oh, 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 no, 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 Oh boy, Pixar, don't sue us, please. We we really do like your movies most of the time. <laughs> Let's grab a, another game here. Okay, this is Changing Lines, everybody. Let's have Lauren and Merritt. Changing Lines is played where we have a simple scene enacted where we have lines that are changed when I say change and hopefully they get funnier as a result. So. We need a simple scene from the audience, please. Old school Star Trek. 
let's do something simpler. The aquarium. What? The aquarium. Excellent. The aquarium. Very good. Take it away. Changing lines. So, um, you decided to meet me at the aquarium so right. we could view the fish. Change. Correct. You decided to meet me at the aquarium so we could exchange those papers. Change. You decided to meet me at the aquarium so we could go for a little skinny dip. I was thinking that was a great idea. Change. I mean, look, I was thinking that that was a great idea for you. Change. I was thinking I just want to see your jingle butt stuff. <laughs> I know that you had said I had a jingle butt, but that was a little bit of a misnomer. Change. Uh, that was a little bit of an overstatement. Change. Um, that was exactly right. I know! Yay! That's exactly what I was looking for! Alright, well, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get my, uh, s my, my clothes off and I'm gonna jump in with the uh, piranhas. That's, and I'm gonna jump in with the electric eels. Good. And I'm gonna jump in with the giant squid. Change. And I'm gonna jump in with you. <laughs> ready? <laughs> ready! Let's <Okay>. jump! <laughs> Oh, oh, I forgot my bathing suit. That's the whole point. I know, but can I swim in clothes? I'm sinking. Please save me. Please uh, save me. Hello. Okay. You, do okay, this I got thing. you. I got you. I got you. Okay, okay thank I, you. I, I oh, mean, oh. <laughs> uh, um, well, you know. Oh, did I tell you I love you? This is the aquarium Did I tell you I love you? No. Oh, I was well. waiting for that. Why did you have to almost die before that? Because I'm trying to get... Please, thank you very much. John and Jordan, come on down for the next round of Changing Lines. Let's give them a simple scene, please. They're fighting over who gets to use the payphone. <laughs> They're fighting over, okay, so this is 30 years ago. So you're waiting in line at a payphone, fighting about who goes next or some such nonsense, take it away. Uh, hey, hey, hold on. I'm, I'm on the phone with my lawyer. Change. I'm on the phone with my ex-wife. Change. I'm on the phone with the president. That don't matter. I need to call my wife. It's really an emergency. Change. That don't matter. I don't care about anything you ever have to say. Change. You know what? You're right. Actually, no, I, I need that back. <laughs> No, 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 I am on an important, this is life or death. Life or death. Change. This is life or outer life. Change. This is life or outer space. Change. This is the meaning of life. Change. This is the whole universe in the phone. Change. This is... It's beautiful. It's just beautiful. <laughs> can you see it in there? It's beautiful. I can see it in here. <laughs> oh my God. But I really do need to make a phone call here. Well, absolutely. Oh, Anything you. you want. <laughs> you have a thank you very much. <laughs> Rohan set a payphone. <laughs> Let's go to the hat for the next game. Ooh, here we go, it's a new game, it's story time, everybody! Line up on the acting carpet for a nice round of story time. There we go. Lauren's number one, John is number two, Merritt's number three, Jordan's number six. And when I call out your numbers, you will pick up the story where the last person left off. But first, we need the name of a bedtime story you would never, ever want to tell your children. Why is there a worm in the bottle? Why is there a worm in the bottle? Okay, that's what we're going with. Take it away, number one. Once upon a time, there's a little boy going to sleep at bedtime. Little boy went and grabbed his favorite little bottle, warmed it up in the microwave, grabbed it and saw a worm squiggling for life. He ran to his mother, confused as all little boys are with a worm in their water bottle. Two. And the mother said, 
No, that's the special bottle for just mommy. That's mommy's bottle, <laughs> not for you. Three. I know uh, that I may have insinuated in the past that it helps me sleep, but this is not for you to sleep. <laughs> Usually I just give you some warm milk and save that for after you're asleep. Four. And then the little boy looked at his mom and said, Mom, is this why you wake up so angry? Is this why before you go to bed you grab me by the ear and kick me down the hall? Is it this bottle or is it the worm? Two. <laughs> and so the mom said, Sometimes mommy is not exactly just like mommy, and she can't be held responsible for everything she does after she's had that worm. Number one. Because if you were a mommy and you had a baby like you when I was 14, then you know, you would be drinking worms at night too. So let's keep this a secret. Don't tell your daddy and don't tell your principal for sure. Number four. <laughs> and then the little boy says, what do you mean don't tell daddy? He hasn't been home in like six years. <laughs> Number three. By the way, what exactly did the worm say to you when, six years ago when you said, hey, I don't want this worm, I want another worm, and my worms are just too, not enough for me anymore, and now, I mean, what is going on here? Is that how it happened, Mom? Number two. Not... Um, Mom said, that, uh, that's just a metaphor. It was a metaphor for not wanting children. Um, Number we're... four. And then the mom turned to the son and said, you know I do love the worm a little bit more than I love you. MC, thank you very much. We apologize to all parents, all parent advocacy groups, all advancement of children, and especially all worms. No worms were harmed in the making of that. <laughs> That's not what I saw. <laughs> PSA is our next game. Let's set up for a rousing game of PSA. Lauren, what do you want to do? Do you want to act or do you want to narrate? I'll narrate. Okay, Lauren is going to narrate our very first game of PSA. And why don't we have John and Merritt come down and act it out. So we're going to have PSA here on Scenes from a Hat. But first, what are we warning the audience about? School cafeteria lunch. School cafeteria lunch and the day or merits or something they're in. I'll leave it to you to figure it out. You're the brilliant actress. Here we go. Three, two, one, music. Good morning, boys and girls. Are we, have we studied a lot in school? Are we hungry because our moms won't feed our breakfast? All right. Oh no, Billy Bob, suck it up. You're gonna get food now. Okay, boys, get in line. Good boys. Do you see the lunch lady? Does she have her net on or off? Off! Run! Get in the other line, boys! Get in the other lines! Quick like bunnies! Okay, boys. Does that lunch lady have her cap on? Is she smoking a cigarette? Oh, well, cigarettes okay. Just get the ashes out. Okay, get your corn, Billy. Yay, does it have maggots in it? John, get behind him. Get your corn, too. Be good, boys. Maggots, maggots you can pick out. Okay, let's go to the meat section, boys, little boys. All right, is the meat still moving, little boys? Is it? And scene. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, Jordan, time for you to narrate, and we're gonna have Lauren and Merritt act this one out. What is our next PSA announcement? Claus. What? Seeing Santa Claus. Seeing Santa Claus, what to do or not to do, as defined by the twisted mind of Jordan Rouleau. Yes. <laughs> and three, two, one, music. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And today we're doing a little PSA on uh, meeting Santa Claus. So first off, what's going to happen is you're always going to hear a little thunk on your roof. And when you hear that thunk and you see the little dust come out of the chimney, stand back, because Santa, he's a large guy. You know, and be careful, because if he comes down backwards, you might see a little more than you wanted to see. <laughs> now, if you actually want to see Santa properly, you should be in bed, because then you get to come out and witness him 
him putting your uh, toys underneath the tree. And that's the most jolliest he is, is when he's putting those toys there. Because if you are standing there when he comes out, he's going to be a bit mad. And Santa, he got some mean left hook, let me tell you. He used to be a Golden Gloves boxer back in the day. <laughs> it's okay, little Billy. That bruise will heal right up. <laughs> and see you, thank you very much. Think we got time for one more game. Yes. Aww. 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 Boo. <laughs> this is one in every crowd. She's right in the front row. It is superheroes. Let's play a rousing game of superheroes. Merritt, why don't you be our lead superhero today on superheroes? So first of all, well, the way superheroes is played is we are gonna have four rather bizarre superheroes that are going to attempt to solve a worldwide crisis. First of all, we need a superhero name for Merritt West. Delayed reaction, man. <laughs> the human marsh delayed reaction no delayed reaction man is fabulous that's what we're going with i had a delayed reaction to the delayed reaction so that's what we're going to do there and he will be naming the superheroes which will be coming in in chair order and then they will name the other players coming in and so on down the line now what we need is a worldwide crisis for delayed reaction man it's to no solve viagra what? No more Viagra. Oh, we've had enough of that this episode. What? The hole in the ozone is getting bigger. The hole in the ozone layer is getting bigger. Okay, let's see how that plays out. <laughs> Take it away. Oh, let's see what's on the world crisis monitor today. <laughs> Ozone! It's gigantic! What are we gonna do with this? Oh man, it's ridiculous! Holy smokes! I mean, this hole in the ozone is like. Oh! <laughs> Miss Aerosol Spray, thank God you're here! I came to help! What can I do? What's the problem? There's a hole in the ozone layer over here. I need friends. <laughs> Where's my friends? Maria. Oh, Captain Itchy Butt. Oh, please help. No ozone. No ozone. Whoa, I can't, I can't quite reach one of these spots. Can you help me? Can you help me? I can't. Oh, this is I can't ask for get help? to. Oh, my God. I'm glad you're here. Shaky legs. <laughs> so what's the deal that we're uh, trying to figure out today? <sighs> There's a hole in the ozone layer! A hole in the ozone layer! We gotta fix it! You know what? It's this aerosol that's blowing all over the place. I'm not sure you're actually a superhero. I got it figured out. You have an itch? Here, bend over, sir. <gasps> Woo! Uh, oh, yeah, that's nice. That's what nice. the hell is going on? Are you guys superheroes or super villains? This is crazy. Do we look like superheroes? You know what? I'm gonna get I'm gonna get the Trump administration to fix the hose on layer. That'll happen a lot sooner. <laughs> and see, thank you very much. Oh, we're gonna get tweeted about for sure now. And you didn't want to do my act. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, the world less traveled. <laughs> I'd like to thank today's sponsor of Scenes from a Hat, gotta get a t shirt.com. Check them out for the next time you need a t shirt or other apparel. Let's clap, everybody. <laughs> that is all the time we have here on Scenes from a Hat. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Nathan. We'll see you next week. Bye bye.